Let's go. I, I have a couple little things I want to talk about if we have some time. Um, <laughs> definitely, number one, I had so many on the Reddit, Instagram ask about this ketamine thing, and you said there's an answer. So if you could give it to us, that'd be great. The ketamine versus the M99 thing where everyone's saying it's different. You said it that is, you guys, yeah, yeah, right. Absolutely. So it is different. Um, you know, when we, if we would have put, um, replace M99, take the ketamine out of this season and imagine that we had the same scenes, but the, it was called M99, right? Mm. Fans would have been like, me. Yep. Yeah. So, uh, it, okay. That's a little convenient that it, they have that there, right? Yes. Right. And mm-hmm. That's what he used before. But if you Google M99 and ketamine, like in real life, uh, the I forget what the the word for M99 is. You could probably like if somebody's on a computer, you yeah, can look you can it up, look it up right in now. a second. Yeah, I'll do it right uh, now. So go ahead. There's a word. It's like it ends in like ketamine ends in eme, and uh, in toxicology, and autopsy torphine. Report, and etorphine. Yeah, there you go. Etor- etorphine and ketamine, and in toxicology reports, they're the two most uh, misdiagnosed drugs like people constantly confusing the two of them in real life right Mm -hmm. so in our story um when angela googles she's just putting pieces together remember the information she has she's like bay harbor butcher miami um the 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 wheel marks and and now ketamine so she puts in she googles ketamine and um bay harbor butcher or miami homicide i forget what it right 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 but whatever she put up, the answer was not the Bay Harbor Butcher just used ketamine. That that's not what the answer was. That would have been an oversight. Right, right. Read, read blow up the screen. Right. It what it what it is is when you Google something and you put in two words like uh, Miami homicide and ketamine, it's going to give you all the things where those two words show up. Right, the relevant results and yeah. yeah, yeah. And in the Bay Harbor Butcher. Um, in, in in one of the stories, and, and it, I think we even went out of our way to say like it, what she looks at is is uh, the equivalent of like a, a, a fan site. It's people who are sleuthing and trying to figure out right. that they are. It was a big mystery. So what she sees in the Google search is that there are people who it, like it was could have been ketamine. It could have been ketamine in the bay in the in their system. Mm-hmm. It wasn't conclusive. Right, 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 right. right. Conclusive evidence for her uh, is going to be Batista, right? When she, that, at the end, she's like, he's going to come up here. He's going to, and he's like, I'm going to bring everything I have. And they're going to put it all together. This was just another thing. Like, this is just too close. Right, right, right. So, yeah, look, it, could we have called it M99? Sure. I, yeah. I think that would have been, um, just like a little eye rolling, you know, totally just, agree. yep. So I, I don't mind the debate. I just, you know, it's like when people just jump to, they fucked up, they're stupid. <laughs> yeah. like, and yeah. you can't get online and start defending yourself, you know, mm-hmm. they, cause it's just, it'll just go on forever. Like, it's talking. Yeah. Yeah. So, but I can sleep at night. Like I, it, when it came up, I was like, okay, they'll figure it out. People, you know, and if anyone really cares when we talk about it, It'll come out and then they either understand it or they don't. Mm-hmm, that, mm-hmm. That's really it. But, but as I said in the beginning of this interview, the, the, there is a reason for everything. And we did think about everything. So whether or not our, we, our explanations kind of satisfy people, I can't speak to that. But I, I can say with conviction that there's a reason why things happened the way they did.